Our first question is from Adam Hayes Fit. What are your top three exercises for blasting belly fat? <laughs> <laughs> Did you pick sorry, this on purpose? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, lo- I yeah. love blasting things. It's yeah. like, uh, like my favorite pastime. Yeah, okay, so... Um, I, feel like a, I feel like this is a trick question. Here's why this is a good question. Because, <laughs> Blasted. And we've covered this in, in many previous podcasts, but it's been a little while since we've talked about this. You can't spot reduce fat loss. But you can blast. You can. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> you can shoot yourself in the... No, no. You can't spot reduce, meaning... Let's say, I, let's say I'm 30 pounds overweight. But uh, I don't mind how my, my whole body looks, but I really don't like how my legs look. So I just want my legs to get le- leaner. I can't dictate where my body's going to burn body fat from simply by training that particular area more or doing something special. The way your body burns body fat and stores body fat is largely due to genetics. Hormones do play a role. So like you know, women whose hormone levels tend to be off, uh, they might store more belly fat than normal. Men, the opposite, they may store more fat in their hips, uh, hips and thighs if their estrogen levels are high. But it's not a huge, huge effect. It's mainly dictated by genetics. You can't train your abs and burn body fat from your abs. It just doesn't. No, it's got to get it from everywhere. Doesn't work. That now way. that being said, we can pick three exercises that we like for your abs, right? These aren't these aren't the the, the what do you say? Blast your yeah, abs. belly fat. Yeah, that's belly like straight off an infomercial. I'm right. just imagining like you know those graphics where it just shows like this this gun and like lasers like pew pew pew, pew yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're <laughs> gone just like that. So yeah. I I love. Uh, a perfect sit-up. So I love to teach that. Uh, Serene did a video not long ago on that. Uh, so if you're not on our Mind Pump TV on YouTube, make sure you, you check that video out. Um, I also like a just a standard reverse crunch and then full mm-hmm. lever. So if I'm picking three that are my favorite, uh, those are three of my favorite. Yeah. Now, doing great ab exercises aren't going to burn more body fat from your midsection. I mean, you burn it from everywhere. But uh, having more developed abs will can contribute to the illusion of looking being leaner in the midsection because as the abs develop, they show up more at higher body fat percentages. This happened to me when I really first learned how to really train my abs properly. So my body fat didn't go down, but I looked leaner in my abs because my abs stuck out more. Uh, I love long lever physio ball crunches, my favorite exercise for midsection. Um, I love active planks. If you do active planks properly, that really builds uh, the muscles of the midsection. That really got my abs uh, to pop out as well. And then my third exercise would be uh, reverse crunches. Love reverse crunches. Yeah, I like decline decline uh, crunches and sit-ups. And I like rotational moves um, mainly because of the functional aspect to those. And I think that we just don't get enough rotation in general in our workouts. And so this is a great place to do that is any kind of trunk rotation, uh, whether or not you're keeping your ab or your hips – uh, from rotating with you, or you're trying to keep them uh, anchored down so you're anti rotating across. Uh, either way, you're going to get that transverse abdominals, you can get your obliques. Uh, so, I'm really a big fan of those. And uh, any kind of isometric, like you mentioned, planks or things like that, but also just, you know, carries uh, for me work great in terms of stabilizing weight and, and really activating the abs isometrically. 